Joining us right now is Alex Sherman, CNBC media and technology reporter. His latest article details the story behind Bob Iger's succession search, his choice of Bob Chapek, and his path back to the company. And Alex, uh, what can you tell us about this? Look, I mean, this is a wild story, really. I mean, some of it has been reported, but my piece kind of digs into a lot of details that haven't. Between the broken down relationship between Bob Iger and Bob Chapek, and really, Bob Chapek's two and three quarters year term as CEO can kind of be defined by two diverging parallels, depending on who you believe. On the one hand, if you're, for lack of a better word, let's say Team Iger, Bob Chapek was just the wrong person to run Disney, and he made a series of bad decisions, and Bob Iger had instant regret on choosing him as the CEO, and of course, eventually, two and three quarters years later, he returns as CEO. On the other hand, if you're Team Chapek, this is a story of Bob Iger instantly wanting his job back and working for years behind the scenes to either aggressively undermine him or passive aggressively undermine him until, lo and behold, he did, in fact, get his job back. Uh, and, and what my story goes into is sort of how that fear in the back of Bob Chapek's mind, that Bob Iger wanted his job back, that many of the people at the company wanted by Bob, Bob Iger to get his job back, defined many of the big decisions that he made when he was CEO. Meaning you think he made worse decisions because of the paranoia or reality, depending on which team. And by the way, which team are you on after looking through it? I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on both. I'm on everything. I think all of this is true at the same time, to be honest. I think there's no question that some of the decisions that Bob Chapek made were not the right decisions. You look at the, how he handled Don't Say Gay. I, I don't know how anyone could say, like, oh, yeah, he handled that great. Uh, but some of the other decisions say how Disney handled the Scarlett Johansson. For people that don't remember, Scarlett Johansson's movie Black Widow came on Disney Plus and movie theaters at the same time. She sued because she said she wasn't being paid properly because this all happened at COVID and she was guaranteed an exclusive movie release. What I dig into is that that whole incident is sort of a leadership chasm. Bob Iger thinks Bob Chapek should be in charge because he's the CEO. Bob Chapek thinks Bob Iger should be in charge because at that point, he was still running something called Creative Endeavors. It's in, their, uh, it's in the initial press release when Iger hands over CEO to Chapek. So neither one of them is sort of running this. And this whole uh, way that Disney addressed it, where they out Scarlett Johansson's salary publicly, and people say this is so very yeah. un-Disney, each one of them is kind of pointing the finger at the other, being like, hey, this is your problem, this is your problem. It's, it's a testament of corporate dysfunction. Media's